What's going on YouTube, Jeans here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be showcasing Metagross in Regulation F. Now Metagross in past years has been phenomenal on the rank and competitive scene, and I feel like nothing is gonna change come January when he is allowed to be used in rank in Scarlet and Violet. Metagross is holding the weakness policy as its item and has clear body as its ability. We can pair this up perfectly with Latias to use Bulldoze to pop both weakness policy and lower speed of opposing Pokemon. Metagross has a great terror type with ground and EQ to pair up with that. He has a nice little coverage move of Ice Punch, Bullet Punch, and Hard Press for two stab moves, first turn priority, and like we already mentioned, some nice little coverage moves with Ice Punch. We already mentioned Lottie Oss is on the team, but this Pokemon is great for support. It's got Levitate with the Rocky Helmet, then Rock and Bulldoze to help out Metagross, Psy Shock, Helping Hand, and Protect. In our top two slots, we got Titar and Houndstone. Great Pokemon for weather control and late game sweepers. Houndstone has that choice band to make it do some crazy damage, and Titar's got that assault vest to make it a bit bulkier up against special attackers. Bottom two slots are going to be great attackers that were phenomenal in Regulation E. We got Hisui and Arcanine with the Life Orb doing some big time damage, and we got Iron Bundle with the Booster Energy to make it outspeed pretty much any single Pokemon. Guys, you want them to see for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner alongside with the Poke Base down in the description below. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. Loading into our first match, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. Found this team over on Twitter, and the creator goes by the name of HM Dive. So huge shout out to him. We'll be leaving the Poke Base, like I already mentioned, down in the description below and a link to the creator's pages. But um, we're loading into our first match here, and hopefully we're going up against some cool regulation F Pokemon, because I would love to use Metagross up against a few of them. And it doesn't really look that way, but they're also rocking a really cool team. They have Explosion, Alolan Golem, right? Alongside Palma and Rapscaba, who are two Pokemon that can pop Revival Blessing. That's a little scary. That is definitely a little scary. But I think from here, Latias and Metagross could be pretty solid for us, right? Definitely could be pretty solid. So I'm actually going to go into both of them. I think that's perfect for us. They do have fake out users. They have all that good stuff. But I think this is just a solid little thing for us. Actually, they could go into Volt Absorb Palmot alongside with someone else. So do I just maybe go in with Arcanine here? And just Intimidate and kind of just go from there? I think that can work well. I think we just go in like Arcanine and maybe even Houndstone here. Huh. Actually, let's just go Latias and Metagross. And if they do decide to go into Golem and Palmot, we'll just protect the Latias and we'll just terrestrialize the Golem. Or not the Golem, the Metagross. Yeah, that sounds good. That definitely sounds good. In the back end, I like having Iron Bundle here, and I also like having Life Orb Arcanine. Just great Pokemon. Actually, we might just want Titar instead. Yeah, Titar works good, because if they bring Pelipper and Basic Legion, it's just going to be a huge problem. So, we'll bring in Titar for a bit of weather control in the back end, and we'll look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But something I did see in my analytics is over 50% of my viewers, 50, are not subscribed. If that's one of you guys, I'm not asking you guys to subscribe, but definitely consider subscribing. It takes about two seconds of your guys' time, and it really goes a long way. Huge shout out to everybody who is a subscriber to the channel. But they're going to end up going into, like I said, the Palmite and the Golem. So from here, I'm going to terrestrialize the, the Metagross here. And I'm going to go for a Bullet Punch. Well, not even Bullet Punch. I'm just going to go for an EQ here, right? EQ seems great. And I'm just going to protect you. Now, the thing is, I think Golem has like an ability that changes Explosion to Electric. And Paul Mott can just fake out and have Bolt Absorb. So I think Ground Terror Type is going to work out perfect for us. I'm going to hit that Terra button, get Kilkin from here. We're not going to pop our weakness policy, which is a dang shame because I really want to do that. But I'm still going to get after this match. So Metagross hits that Terra button. We're not dealing with any of these electric moves, and I just protect the Latias. So let's see if they're going to go for that explosion. They're going to go for Fake Out into Latias, and are they going to explode here? Are you exploding? Show me you're exploding. I'm getting off this EQ, though. This EQ is going to do some nice damage. EQ coming out here. I'm surprised they didn't fake out the Metagross. But I don't think they were really expecting all this. And EQ just dumps on the Golem and brings Palmot down the Focus Ash. Let's go. Let's go. It's a big time start from us. We get rid of the Golem. It doesn't even give us a turn. And we block the fake out. Yo, Metagross rip early on here. 
So now the thing that we have to worry about is going to be Revival Blessings, right? They have Bastion Legion here. They could swap into Pelipper, which is looking a tad bit scary if they do. And I might swap into Iron Bundle into this slot and just save the Metagross, right? Save the Metagross and then just start, I guess, attacking here. With Psy Shock. Get rid of the Palmot. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So he ends up withdrawing. He is going to go into Pelipper. And this is why exactly why we swapped into... The, what's it called here? The Iron Bundle. The Iron Bundle. But if they do go for Wave Crash, it might still KO the Iron Bundle. Maybe I should have went into a Bulldoze here. But I think we're fine here. Iron Bundle's gonna come out. I'm ready to rip. And we shall get after this. Booster Energy and Speed. That's massive. So next turn, I'm gonna swap the Latios, and I'm just gonna take Weather. And I'm just gonna start ripping in these Pokemon. Wave Crash is gonna fly here, and is that gonna KO me? It doesn't. Cool. It does not. We will take Recall, though. <clears throat> so Recall is massive. Psy Shock is now going to fly here. Chip up the Pelipper a little bit. And like I said, next turn, we just simply swap into Titar. And I'll go for Freeze right here. So Rain Rain, go away. Titar, come on out here, baby. Hopefully they don't swap the Pelipper and make that hard read. But they don't even know I have Titar, so I don't think they swap Pelipper at all. They have no idea. So hot start for us so far, Metagross got off a big turn one, going into that ground Terran type, and just ripping with EQ. I don't think they were expecting that. But now we're sitting here, I swapped the T-Tar, I'm going to take all the weather control, gimme gimme, and we'll go from there. Hopefully he's not coming for Shadow Sneak, because in that case, Iron Bundle could just KO. Oh, you protect it, you little booger. You little booger. You little booger with the protect. Protect comes out here, and chances are Pelipper is going to finish off. My Iron Bundle, right? No, you set up a Tailwind. Mmm. That's a little rough. Iron Bundle still might be able to outspeed now. That's good. That is perfect. So everyone's going to take Buffets. If you swap into Palm out here, it will die to Buffets. So I think our best bet would just be to stick with the Freeze Dry and just follow through with a knockoff. Or do we go for a Rock Slide here? I think we just double down the Basque Legion, right? I think Bash Legion is our main threat here. I really do. And I think they swap Pelipper here into Palmot. So if they do, Palmot would just die out to the Sandstorm. And then we can just double down and finish this off. But no, he goes for a wide guard instead. And that's a bad play, thinking of going for Rock Slide. I was going to go for Rock Slide, but I pulled back. Freeze Dry is now going to pick up the KO onto you. And Knock Off can do a little bit of damage onto this guy. And that's pretty much wraps up match number one. So quick, solid match number one. They're forced to bring out Palmot. And we're chilling here. Knock off KO into with a crit. With a crit! We love a crit. We love a good old crit. We love it. We love it. So now, final Pokemon comes out here. And it's going to be Palmot. And that's going to be a sweep for us, right? Unless Fake Out can KO the Iron Bundle. He's going to sweep me. Or we're going to sweep him. And I don't think it can. Iron Bundle. Looking for the sweep here. We go for a freeze try. I think they cancel match anyway. And we just go for a knockoff. And is that a sweep? It is a sweep. They cancel match. Let's go hop into our second match. Look to use Metagross a bit more. Time for match number two, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going up against a Venusaur Sun team. Very, very strong. And we got to watch out for that Sun with the Venusaur, right? Chlorophyll with double speed. And they can really get thrived from there. They also have Metagross just like us, and they're also rocking Incineroar, who is top tier, or I should say, is going to be top tier when ranked gameplay comes out. Their final two Pokemon is an insane combo with Fluttermate and Chiyu, so we definitely have our work cut out for us in this match. But for a nice little lead here, I could go Latias, and I could also go Metagross again. Right? I like both their leads. I don't think it's bad. I could definitely see them leading Incineroar, and at that point, we have Clear Body, which is great. So you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go in with both of these guys, and I'm also going to bring in my own weather squad in the back end. Should be a close match. Should definitely be a close matchup, but I'm hoping we can just rip up with uh, Metagross here in this match and just kind of just go from there, right? Weakness policy pop, big time damage, their team goes down, we win the match. Pretty simple, right? I wish it was that simple. I wish it was that simple, but I actually think we versed this user in a different YouTube channel. I just remember that Venusaur name card. I really do. But they're gonna throw out Incineroar and Fluttermane. They can fake me out. I do have Bullet Punch, which is good. And they might just swap the Fluttermane or leave it in this turn. Does Fluttermane outspeed my Latias? That's the real question. 
that be the real question? I am scared of that. I am scared. I think Fluttermane is going to outspeed regardless if it's booster energy or not. And then he could just fake out with Incineroar. The real question is, do I Terrasilize or do I just attack? I'm just going to go for an EQ here. And I'm going to go for Bulldoze. That's play. Hopefully they just protect Fluttermane. I doubt it though, right? I think it's just fake out into like a Moonblast or something. Try and deal some big damage onto my Latias, right? Makes the most sense. It definitely makes the most sense. Maybe I should just protect the Latias. But at this point, they see Metagross as such a huge threat with Bullet Punch ready to fly. So I'm hoping they just swap Fluttermane, right? I'm really hoping they just swap Fluttermane and we can just get after it that way. No, they do go for the fake out with the Latias. I should just Bullet Punch, man. Should just bullet punch and Shadow Ball is gonna fly in this slot. Can you soak that? You do soak that. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And they pop weak this policy for us. Alright, that works. That works in our favor. That works in our favor. Latias is gonna flinch. That's fine. EQ is gonna fly. <laughs> so EQ is gonna fly here. I think it should be able to take out Incinemore. And it takes out Flutterbeat. Yo, Metagross, chill! Chill! Big time damage coming out here, match number two. Kind of did a... Didn't pop the weakness policy the way I wanted it to, but that works out. I'm super surprised that Fluttermane just stayed there, knowing I have Bullet Punch, right? So, I mean, that works out fine. They're now going to swap into Venusaur, and they're going to be forced to bring out Ninetales. And I'm just going to take Weather Control for the rest of the match. Right? I feel as I just swap into Titar. And then I just start throwing bullet punches i guess into venus over here yeah that works out perfectly cool so weather control is ours we pick up a big time double ko in turn one with them pop a weakness policy for us so now i'm just gonna throw a bullet punch considering i'm on seven hp i'd rather get off some value before metagross does die out here and then we'll go from there thanks for the weather thanks for the weather i'm kind of hoping venus was going for like solar beam too now because then it will take two turns at this point <clears throat> We're going to see a nice, lovely Terra. And I wonder who's Terrasilizing. Venusaur is? Venusaur is. Into Stellar Terra type. A little bit of Stellar action. The brand new Terra type. And it's so cool. I think that Terra type is so dope. But still, we're going to chunk up some nice damage here with Bullet Punch coming out here. Almost bringing it down the red. And Heat Wave's just going to fly here. And he's going to pick up the KO on the Metagross. So we got the weather. We have some great Pokemon in the back end. I'm really not too worried too much. I'm just going to bring out Houndstone after this and just get ripping. The Sludge Bomb gets flying here. T-Tar, you're soaking that, right? Yeah, all day, baby. All day. All day. Venusaur pretty much took more damage to the Life Orb there. And Buffets fly out here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, this match is going to be quick, too. This is a quick one. <coughs> but now we throw out Houndstone. Oh, we are thriving. And I think our opponent honestly just cancels the match, to be honest. I really think they cancel the match. I'm going to go into a last respects here. And on top of that, we are just going to throw a rock slide across the board. They're going to cancel, right? They got to cancel. They got to cancel. But big time plays from our Metagross, right? Surviving on 7 HP, which was just massive. And I just dumped on that thing. Oh, my Lord. Things hitting like a truck with the choice band. And Earth Power is going to come out here. And we should be able to soak that up, too. <coughs> yeah, yo, a soul fest really helping us out here. Making us super, super bulky. But now comes the rock slide. That's going to finish this match up. Second match, pretty quick. Metagross rocking out again. We go 2-0. Let's go hop into our third. So far, we're sitting 2-0. Would love to go 3-0 for you guys. And we're going up against a Kilowatchel team with Rotom Frost, a Pokemon that you don't get to see too often. But then the Rockets some big time combos with Indeedee and Armrouge, and then they got Pelipper and Salamence. I really like the lead of Latias and Metagross, but I don't know if they're going to lead to Kilowatchel. If they do lead Kilowatchel, that could be a little bit of a problem, but I still feel as we should be able to thrive out here. So I'm going to go Metagross, I'm going to go Latias, and then I think we just bring in the same squad, right? I think going in with Houndstone and T-Tar is going to be great considering they have Pelipper and we can take Weather Control that way. Or I can just go instead of Houndstone, Iron Bundle because at that point we're going to be super effective onto a lot of them and we have Icy Wind for a bit more speed control. So I like it. I definitely do like it. But something I would actually like a bit more on this team 
is instead of hard press, we had protect on the Metagross and we had Tailwind on Latias. Cause that could be really good if you just protect turn one, pop a Tailwind and then go Bulldoze. Cause at that point, then you have a lot of speed. You can really get cooking from there and it just really helps you out overall. But they're gonna end up leading Salamence and Indeedee. So Salamence and Indeedee comes out here and I actually don't mind this. I won't be able to go for bullet punches, but I think by going into Bulldoze and Ice Punch here, we can just dump on the Salamence and kind of get cooked from there. Unless they go for Follow Me, right? Unless they go for Follow Me. And honestly, having Hard Press here is not too shabby. But yeah, I'm going to go for the Ice Punch here. I'm also going to go into that Bulldoze, and we're just going to pop Weakness Policy like we've been doing all day today. So let's see what our opponent is going to do here. Follow Me could be annoying. Are they going to go and follow me? Maybe. Most likely, I would feel like. But I'm going to really hope they don't. And I can just dump on the Salamence in one punch, right? It'd be perfect. It would be perfect. It could end up to Rastalize, and I don't really see that happening. What I do see happening, though, is Salamence probably popping a Tailwind, right? There's the follow me. So follow me, Tailwind. Definitely an option. Definitely an option. No Draco Meteor. You're just outspeeding my, Latia, my Latias, but I do survive. That is massive that I survive that. That is massive, because now I get off the Bulldoze. I'm going to pop the Weakness Policy. The thing is, I wasn't really expecting him to outspeed me like that. I didn't mind if he was going to go for a Dragon Move into my Latias. As long as we got off this Weakness Policy. But hey, it's going to work out perfectly. So I'm going to drop the speed of Indeedee. I'm going to be able to throw a nice lovely Ice Punch. And I'm doing a huge chunk of damage. So big chunk of damage comes out here. I'm going to stick with a Ice Punch here. And I'm just going to KO that, right? KO the Indeedee and maybe just go for a Psy Shock here. Yeah, just do damage on the Salamence. So what I really want to happen is I want Latias to kind of die out here, right? I'd rather have another Pokemon next to my Metagross at this point. It would be best bet. It would definitely be in our best entrance. Especially if they KO Latias this turn, then I can bring an Iron Bundle and start throwing Icy Winds left and right, slowing down the other Pokemon, allow Metagross to just start ripping up. It'd be beautiful. It'd be beautiful. But I think they do go for another Follow Me here. I think they just try to protect the, uh, the Salamence, and they just let their Indeedee die out here, right? Most likely. Most likely. So let's see, they end up withdrawing the Salamence. Gonna go into Arm Rouge? Possibly, right? No, Pelipper comes out here. So this is exactly why we brought the T-Tar. We got the T-Tar in the back end. We're not dealing with these weather. We're not dealing with the rain. Not the rain. And indeed, he's going to protect here. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Side Shock's going to deal a little bit of damage onto the Pelipper. And maybe I should just double down into that Salamence slot, right? Yeah, I probably should have, right? I probably should have. But it's no worries. We're just wasting out these terrain turns as well. Wasting out terrain is phenomenal. Could go for hard press. I think Ice Punch is still in her best interest just to drop the Pelipper. And then we just attack the Indeedee. Now we're just going to double down to Pelipper. Pelipper's not going to protect. Told you. Pelipper is not protecting. He goes for a helping hand here. Now you going after my Metagross? There's a high chance of that happening. There's a high chance of you going after Metagross with a Hydro Pump. No, a Hurricane. Cool, and they take out my Latias. We love it. We love it. We love it. Because now, again, like I said, I get to bring out the Iron Bundle. And the Iron Bundle is going to be thriving. So now we say bye-bye to Pelipper. They could bring back out Salamence, but I, highly, I really don't think they do that, right? And I could pretty much just thrive out from here. We are almost done with the terrain. I think like two more turns of the terrain. And then I can start throwing bullet punches if I want to. But I think hard press is going to be your play. Start throwing hard presses left and right. Doing as much damage as we can with it. But I think they're going to Terrasalize Salamence. If Salamence is on the field, they got to Terrasalize it, right? They, they got to Terrasalize it. So I pop my Quirk Drive with the booster energy. I get my speed heightened. <clears throat> and from here, we're going to hard press over here. Because I do think they're going to Terrasalize. And just Icy Wind, just to slow down the field. Giving Metagross a bit more speed. Loving, yo. I'm loving Metagross. And I love Metagross' is shiny. Like, the gold on it just stands out so well. So, out comes the Terrasalize. We read this way too easily. And we're going to be able just to rip up in this Pokemon. Unless it's fire. Okay, it's flying. That works. 
That actually doesn't really work too well for you. I still could have ice punch you and KO'd you. That's fine. That's fine. Helping Hand's going to come out here. And hopefully Metagross after this Icy Wind could outspeed. That'd be massive. The Icy Wind's going to do a huge chunk of damage onto that Salamence. But more importantly, lower the speed of both these Pokemon. And Metagross, can you outspeed? You don't. Hurricane now flies, and that could take out my Iron Bundle. That could. Why can't I see my HP? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead, but it's all good. It's all good. I still have my Metagross. I still have the boy. Hard Press comes out here. Bye bye, Salamence. And that move looks so sick as well. It's a big time KO there. We get rid of Terra. Indeed, he's not a threat at all. And it pretty much comes down to a 2v1 situation. And Terrain ends in one turn. But I get to bring out Titar. I get to take Weather Control. And they're going to go into maybe Armors here. I doubt they have Armors, right? I think Indeed was just here for support. And it is going to. Okay. Armor Rouge comes out here. And both my Pokemon should be faster. I could pop an EQ, but you don't have Protect. But you do have Terra. Yeah, might as well, right? Let's Terrasalize EQ. Terrasalize EQ. I don't want to KO my t so I'm going to Terrasalize my T-Tar and Psychic. We're just going to get ripping. Game, set, match. 3-0 perfect record for you guys. You know it. You know it. Always killing it on the casual ladder for you guys. Showcase and Metagross today, and we did really good with them. Love it all around. Helping hand comes out from Arm Rouge, and I think Metagross just outspeeds it, and we just... We say night-night, right? No. You actually outspeed me, and you KO me. Hold up. Wait a minute. This is why I wish I had Protect, too. I would just Protect and waste out the terrain. Hold up, wait a minute. Knock off still KO, and, and now that's definitely game. Because that NDD right there is minus two on speed, and you're not doing much. You're not doing much. Wow, this actually came closer than I thought it would. But still, we're picking up that win. Like I said, nice little 3 0 perfect record for you guys. No problem. No problem. No problem. So we'll just go into another knockoff. We'll send it. I think they cancel battle. And they don't. They let their poor NDD die out there, and there it is, 3 0. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, another video showcasing a regulation F Pokemon, and we showcased Metagross today to its fullest potential. Absolutely dominated with it, proc with this policy plenty of times with Latias, and just, like I said, dominated with this thing. There's no other word for it. We had Titar, we had Houndstone in the back end, clean up some matches, and same thing with Arcanine and Iron Bundle. Just a great team all around, with great synergy, picking up a nice good old 3-0 record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.